Hello everybody, this is Caitlin with the Twinsburg Library here for another awesome story time. And today, we're going to be talking about ladybugs. Those cute little red and black bugs. I love them and I hope you guys do too. But before we start singing and dancing and reading about ladybugs, what's the first thing we have to do? Say hello to each other. Let's do it. Ready? Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as fast as we can. Ready? Hello. Hello, hello, hello. Oh, you guys are good. What's the opposite of fast? Slow. Let's try it. Ready? Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as slow as we can. Very good. All right, do you think we can do it as serious as we can? Let me see those serious faces. Ready? Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as serious as we can. No smiling. Hello. Oh, you guys are good. Now, what's the opposite of serious? Silly. Do you think we can do it really silly? Let's try. Ready? Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as silly as we can. Very good. All right. Are you guys ready to warm up our singing voices and sing the ABCs? Let's do it. Let's do it the regular way today. Should we do it? Let's go. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? Very good. All right, we did our letters. Now let's do our numbers. Start way down low at the smallest number one. And get taller and taller as we count to ten. Are you ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Very good. Do you guys think we can go backwards? Let's try it. Ready? Ten fingers high in the sky. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, one, zero. Very good. Are you guys ready for a story? If you're ready for a story, take a seat. If you're ready for a story, take a seat. If you're ready for a story, fold your hands all nice and neat. If you're ready for a story, take a seat. All right, we're going to read one of my favorite ladybug story, The Grouchy Ladybug by Eric Carl. This is a silly one. Mm. Ready? It was night and some fireflies danced around the moon. At five o'clock in the morning, the sun came up. A friendly ladybug flew in from the left, saw a leaf with many aphids on it, and decided to have them for breakfast. But just then, a grouchy ladybug flew in from the right. It too saw the aphids and wanted them for breakfast. Uh-oh, what should they do? They both want the aphids. Should they share? Let's see if they're going to share. Good morning, said the friendly ladybug. Go away, shouted the grouchy ladybug. I want those aphids. We can share them, suggested the friendly ladybug. No, they're mine. All mine, screamed the grouchy ladybug. Well, do you want to fight me for them? Oh, my goodness. <gasps> if you insist, answered the friendly ladybug sweetly. It looked at the other bug right in the eye. The grouchy ladybug stepped back. It looked less sure of itself. Oh, you're not big enough for me to fight, it said. Then why don't you pick on someone bigger? I'll do that, screeched the grouchy ladybug. I'll show you. Puffed itself off and flew off without even eating breakfast. Well, look at this. Right? At six o'clock, it met a yellow jacket. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. You want to fight? If you insist, said the lady at the yellow jacket, showing its singer. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. Okay. At seven o'clock, it met a stag beetle. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, you want to fight? If you insist, said the stag beetle, opening its jaws. No, oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. Okay. At 
eight o'clock, it came across a praying mantis. Hey, you, said Grouchy Ladybug. Want to fight? If you insist, said the praying mantis, reaching out its long front legs. Oh, you're not big enough, said the Grouchy Ladybug. And flew off. Mm. At nine o'clock, it almost flew into a sparrow. Hey, you, said the Grouchy Ladybug. You want to fight? If you insist, said the sparrow, opening its sharp beak. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. At ten o'clock, he saw a lobster. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? If you insist, said the lobster, stretching its claws. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. At eleven o'clock, he bumped into, what is that? A skunk! Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? If you insist, said the skunk, starting to lift its tail. Oh, oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug. And flew off. Oh, now what did he find? A snake. At 12 noon, it spotted a boa constrictor. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? If you insist, said the snake, right after lunch. Oh, you're not big enough said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. Ooh, who knows what that is? Let's find out, ready? At one o'clock, it happened upon a hyena. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. You want to fight? If you insist, said the hyena, laughing eerily and showing his teeth. <laughs> no, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. Ooh, what's this one? A gorilla. At two o'clock, he met a gorilla. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? If you insist, said the grouchy, uh, said the gorilla, beating its chest. No, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. Ooh, what about this one? Uh, it's a rhino. It ran at three o'clock. It ran into a rhinoceros. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. You want to fight? If you insist, said the rhinoceros, lowering its horn. No. You're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. <gasps> What's that even bigger? What is that one? <gasps> At four o'clock, he had encountered an elephant. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? If you insist, said the elephant, raising its trunk and showing its big tusks. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. If an elephant isn't big enough, what do you think he's going to try and fight next? Oh, my goodness. At Five o'clock, it met a whale. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? But the whale did not answer at all. Mm, you're not big enough anyway, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. At 5.15, the grouchy ladybug said to one of the whale's flippers, You want to fight? But it got no answer, so it flew on. At 5.30, the grouchy ladybug said to the whale's fin, you want to fight? But it got no answer, so he flew on. At a quarter to six, the grouchy ladybug said to the whale's tail, Hey, you want to fight? And the whale's tail gave the grouchy ladybug such a slap that it flew across the sea and across the land. At six o'clock, the grouchy ladybug arrived back to where he started, had started from. Here you are again, said the friendly ladybug. You must be hungry. There's still some aphids left. You can have some for dinner. Oh, oh thank you, said the wet, tired, and hungry ladybug. Soon, all the aphids were gone. Thank you, said the leaf. You are welcome, answered both ladybugs, and they went to sleep. The fireflies, who had been sleeping all day, came out to dance around the moon. Goodness, that was a very grouchy ladybug. Let's see, if we're talking about ladybugs today, what letter does ladybug start with? L, very good. We've got a big uppercase L and a little lowercase L. Big uppercase, little lowercase. Big, little. Big, little. Big, little. You think you can remember that? I don't know, let's find out. Ready? Big or little? Big or little? Big. Big or little? Big. Big or little? Little. Big or little? Both of them big and little. Very good, my friends. So if ladybugs.
bug starts with L. What other words start with the letter L? And I have another animal that starts with the letter L. What do you think it is? A lion! A lion starts with the letter L. What does a lion say? Very good. All right, do you think we can sing the letter of the week song with our lion? Hey, letter starts with L too. Look at that. Ready? The letter of the week is L L L L L L L L L. The letter of the week is L L L, and it makes the sound like oh, like lion and letter and ladybug. Very good, my friends. All right, are you guys ready to do some dancing? Ready? Let's do it. Do you think we can pretend to fly like a ladybug? Let's see, do you guys think we can fly really slow like a ladybug? Let me see you take your little teeny tiny ladybug wings. How are we gonna fly in a circle, ready? All the little ladybugs fly really slow, really slow, really slow. All the ladybugs fly really slow, all day long. You guys are good. Now, what do you guys think? What's the opposite of slow? Fast. Can we fly really, really fast? Can we see really, really fast. Ready? All the ladybugs fly really fast, really fast, really fast. All the ladybugs fly really fast all day long. All right. You guys think we can do it? Wow. Do you think we can fly really low? Let me see how low you can go. Ready? All the ladybugs fly really low, really low, really low. All the ladybugs fly really low all day long. Now, what's the opposite of low? High. Do you think we can fly really high? Let me see, ready? All the ladybugs fly really high, really high, really high. All the ladybugs fly really high all day long. Very good, my friends. That was great dancing. After all that singing and dancing like a ladybug, I think I need to catch my breath. Will you guys catch your breath with me? So let's take a deep breath in and make it get really big. Yeah, let's take a deep breath and hold it and keep it really big. Ready? Hold it, hold it, hold it. You guys are good. If we take a fast breath, ready? You're gonna get one more super duper slow breath. Ready? Much better. I feel like I'm ready for a story. How about you? Let's see, we're gonna read. Can you make a scary face by Jan Thomas? All right, let's see. I wanna see you guys make a scary face. Can you see your scary faces? Go, Ooh, Those are pretty good scary faces. Talking to you. Stand up. You stand up? No. I changed my mind. Sit down. No. I changed my mind again. Stand up. Okay. Are you ready? Let's pretend. Pretend you have a tiny bug on your nose. Wiggle it off. Ready? Can you wiggle your nose? It tickles, wiggle your nose, and laugh. <laughs> Whoops, the tiny tickly bug flew into your mouth. <gasps> blow it out, come on, blow harder, ready? <gasps> Wait, the tiny tickly bug is out of your mouth, but now it's on your shirt. Tiny tickly bug is stuck in your shirt. Oh no. Don't worry. Pretend there's a giant hungry frog coming to eat that tiny tickly bug stuck in your shirt. Can you imagine? See, so close your eyes and imagine. Ribbit. Oh, 
Oh, there really is a giant hungry frog. Scare him away! Okay, can we say, boo! Boo! Help! Make a scary face now! All right, let me see your scary face. Ready? Yikes! Not that scary! Wait up, giant hungry frog! I'm still scared! You guys are really good at making scary faces. <laughs> All right, though, well, that was a very silly ladybug. Do you know what? I have another silly ladybug hiding back here. Uh, well, what's wrong with that ladybug? Rim's me missing something. What's he missing? His spots. Do you think we can help him with his spots? Let's see. Little red bug, oh so cute. Here is a black spot for your suit. Now you go and have some fun with your spot. Your very first, what number is that? One, very good. All right, you think that's enough? No, I think he needs some more, ready? Little red bug, oh so cute. Here is a black spot for your suit. It's so nice to have a few, so enjoy this lovely, what number is that one? Two, very good. Do you think that's enough? No, I don't think so. Let's keep going, ready? Little bread bug, oh so cute. Here's a black spot for your suit. We are very pleased to see how nice you look with all, what number? Three, very good. All right, one, two, three. Should we keep going? Yeah, I think that's, I need some more, ready? Little red bug, oh so cute. Here's a black spot for your suit. You might feel you need some more, so we proudly give you the number four. Very good. One, two, three, four. Should we keep going? I think saying so. Ready? Little red bug, oh so cute. Here's a black spot for your suit. Heaven, heaven, sakes alive. Look at you. You're wearing five. Very good. One, two, three, four, five. Do you think he needs one more? I think he needs one more. Ready? Little red bug, oh so cute. Here's a black spot for your suit. We gave you one just for kicks. You look lovely with your number six. Very good. I think he looks perfect, right? Say little red bug, oh so cute. You have six spots on your suit. Ready? You are ready to meet friends and play. Go ahead and fly away. Very good. But you know what? I have some other bugs that need some help. You guys help these other bugs too? How about these? Uh-oh. There's something a little wrong with these, right? They've got spots, but are they the right color? No. Let's see. Let's play a ladybug color game. I'll give you rhyming clues. If you know it, say the name of each color that I use. Are you ready? Say, the first color of our buggy fellow is the color of sunshine, the color of, where is it? <gasps> Yellow, look at that. Should we keep going? Is that the right color for a ladybug? No, let's see. Frogs in the pond and a fresh snap pea bean. Can you guess the color? Green, very good. But is that the color of a ladybug? No. The sky above and oceans too. Such a beautiful color. The color is blue. Oh, they do look nice and blue, but is that the right color? No. Let's see. Strawberry ice cream. Come on now, think. You are right. The color is, what do you guys think? Pink. Very good. But is this the right color? It's close, but not quite. Grapes for jelly on a PB and J. What is the color? Purple is the color that we stay. There we go. Is that one right? No. Let's see. Pumpkins or basketballs rolling by. What is it? Orange is the color that we spy. Is that one right? No, still not the right color. Let's see. Fluffy clouds and the moon at night. Did you say the color white? Is that right? No, let's keep trying, ready? 
roses that grow in a garden bed are the, this beautiful color, the color of red. Very good, ladybug, ladybug, up in the sky. Thanks for the fun. Now we say goodbye. Very good. Thanks for helping my ladybug friends today. Are you guys ready to sing one more song and say goodbye? Let's do it. Ready? The library doors go open and shut, open and shut, open and shut. The library doors go open and shut all day long. We check our books in and out, in and out, in and out. We check our books in and out all day long. Our time is up, but we'll see you next time. See you next time. See you next time. Our time is up, but we'll see you next time at the library. Thanks for watching, friends. See you next time.